Hello, welcome to lesson 24 of Mastering Java. We're going to talk about incrementing and decrementing variables in this lesson, and you've seen some of this before. I've introduced some of it kind of in a roundabout way, but here we're going to talk about it a little bit more formally. First, let's create an integer. Let's create two integers. Uh, let's call one A and let's call the other one B, right? And uh, let's go ahead and say that A is equal to 10. All right, now, Let's go ahead and print this out, system.out.println, right? Let's just go ahead and stick it in there, no text or anything. So the variable a is equal to 10, so this is all normal so far. Now, after we've declared it, um, we've had occasion in many times, like looping variables and just other cases, where maybe I want to increment a by 1. So typically you do a is equal to a plus 1. Basically what this does is it adds 1 to the variable a, and then it stores the result back in a overwriting itself. So now a is no longer uh, 10, it's 11. Now let me go ahead and copy this and stick a print statement in here actually, because I really want to print it before and after. So here I'm going to print the before and I'm going to print the after. So you can see that initially it's 10 and then it's incremented to 11. So this a is equal to a plus 1 thing is so common in Java that uh, there's a shortcut for it. And all you have to do is write a plus plus. The plus plus operator means take the variable that you have and increment it by one. So when I save and run it, we get exactly the same output as we did when we had a is equal to a plus one. And we've done this before. We've used it in loops when we increment the loop variable and in other cases that we've done examples. Okay, so you should see, sort of see this as being at least a little bit familiar, but get used to it if you aren't already used to it because uh, it is extremely common in all, almost all modern programming languages. All right, so instead of plus plus, you can also say a is equal to a minus one. What do you think that would be? That decrements the variable, that subtracts one and, and stores it in there. And we run that, you get nine is the new value. Well, there's a shortcut for this as well. Instead of a is equal to a minus one, you can say a minus minus. And this again tells Java, hey, whatever's in here, just subtract one, store it back in the variable, and then there you go. So you, again, you have the same uh, output there. So these guys here, uh, a plus plus, a minus minus, work for any variable, like integers, uh, etc., where you can increment and decrement them. And it uh, doesn't matter if the variable is one letter long or or whatever, it could be anything, you just increment it or decrement it using the plus plus and the minus minus uh, guy right there. So that's the very simplest thing. Now let me show you something else. So in this particular case, we're, ta we're saying a plus plus and a minus minus. Now it turns out that you can actually write it another way. You can put the plus plus in front of the a, right? So let's print that out. So again, you get 10 for the initial value and 11 for the modified value. You can also put the minus minus in front like this. Again, that subtracts it off. So whether or not you put the plus plus or the, or the minus minus in the front or the back for this particular example doesn't really matter. It's going to do the same thing. However, there is a subtle difference between the two. And to show you that, let me take this away. And actually, let me use our, our B variable. And let me overwrite this and say uh, B is equal to A plus plus. So what I want to do now is I'm going to print the value of b right here. Let me go ahead and uh, put another print statement under here, system.out.println, like this. All right, so we know the initial value is 10, so we don't have to really do that anymore. We know the initial value is 10. All right, so let's change this, new value of a is a and then here we'll have new value of b is plus b now let me show you here what we're doing here is we set a is equal to 10 and then we set b is equal to a plus plus so a plus plus should evaluate to 11 it should basically increment the a variable up by one right up by one and then it's going to store the value uh, in there. But let me show you what really happens. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. The new value of A is 11. The new value of B is 10. Now at first glance this might look a little weird to you because 
in our second statement, I mean, we understand the the, uh, the new value of a is 11 because when we do this guy here, it, it really is incrementing the a variable. So we expect that to be 11. What we're confused about at first glance is that when we assign it to b, we kind of expect 11 to be assigned to b, but in fact it's 10. And that's because there is a difference between a plus plus, and let me show you the other one, plus plus a. Let me show you what this one looks like. Here we have 11 and 11. This one kind of matches what we expect. Basically, here's the deal. Let me turn it back to the way it was a minute ago. When we have it set like this, let me run it again. What happens is the incrementing actually happens after the assignment is done in this case. So whenever the plus plus is after the variable, then what we do is we assign the letter A to the variable B, and then we increment. So the increment comes last. So in this case, 10 was in A, 10 goes into B, and then we increment A, and that's why it looks the way it does. Whenever we put the plus plus on the front, save it, and go like this, then we increment A first, because it's in front of the variable. That's the first thing that happens, making it 11. And then we store the result into B, and that's why it matches the way that we kind of expect. So most of the time you're not using this plus plus operator like this. Most of the time you're using it in a for loop or in some other instance where it doesn't matter so much. But when you're incrementing something and then assigning it to another variable, you just need to be aware when the plus plus is on the front, the increment happens first and then the assignment. When we have it in the back side, the increment's the last thing that happens. Same thing happens with minus minus. If we put minus minus in front here, then what's going to happen is um, a is decremented, that's why the new value of A is 9, and then the result is assigned over into the B variable, that's why they match. But if I take the uh, minus minus and put it at the end here, what do you think is going to happen? What's going to happen is um, the new value of B is 10 because the assign initially we have 10, we assign it into B, then we decrement at the end. And that's why they mismatch in that case. So the little subtlety in the way in which Java does the ordering there, it isn't going to matter in most cases, but just want to bring it up so that you're aware if you get any weird results, if the uh, increment is done on the pre side or the post side can make a difference in your calculations.